in our uh, estuary um, next to the beach, there are some jellyfish. Can you see the jellyfish here? It's uh, swimming along the beach for some reason. Uh, there are some dead ones on the beach, but uh, I thought it'd be more interesting to video the one alive. And it's about, mm, I'd say, uh, when its tentacles fully extended, maybe a metre or 80 centimetres long. And um, I'll push it out to sea in a second, because uh, there are about four dead ones on the beach, and it's got a lot of long tentacles there. And when I go swimming, I know occasionally I do get stung by something. So I, I think I'm going to check it out and see whether this is the one that I should be scared of. It looks scary. It's pulsating there. Um, but uh, let's see. Uh, I tried the ones on the beach and they didn't hurt. But maybe that's because they're dead. Oh, that's my dog, as you can see. Um, so what about the ones in the sea? I'm going to push it back out to sea afterwards, after I've done the test. But uh, here we go. Uh, uh, I'm going to touch it. And the answer is, no, it doesn't hurt. Maybe I touched the wrong tentacles, and maybe the long ones hurt, but those ones don't. So there's a lot of people in Japan that say, ah, oh, the jellyfish, you know, that's why you can't go swimming. But it's just not my experience. Japanese jellyfish very, very rarely hurt. Not like Australian jellyfish where you've got those blue bottles. I've only been stung about once in all the hundreds of times that I've swum here. And uh, my dog doesn't mind them either. Uh, I want to push it further out to see if the dog's in the way. So, Japanese jellyfish are not scary. Uh, the dog is completely impervious. Is that the word for it? Something like that.